Hello and welcome back to Silver Flyer. First, I'd like to apologize for uh, being late on this video. I've been away for work uh, in another city. I was posted to another city for the last week and a half. And uh, my package came in, but uh, I wasn't here to receive it or to open it with you. Um, small unboxing. This is uh, linked back to one of the first videos I, uh, or previous video I did. Um, well, Panda's under spot. So let's get into it and uh, let's open this up. All right, got the package open. And if I didn't mention before, welcome to uh, Silver Flyer and on location in People's Republic of China, where I do work and spend a good part of my year. So I uh, got the package open, uh, 2012 up to 2019, an eight coin set. Um, it, it looks like I did get lucky, so I probably won't see this deal again. Um, it was uh, 1460 for per coin. Uh, converted into US dollars, which was pretty much at spot. And it was, I'll discuss the spot price uh, as it relates to a 30 gram coin, not a 31.1 or a troy ounce coin. So in some other video, a difference in Chinese coins. But uh, that being said, it was a, a new store and uh, they were having a festival, I think the Qingming Festival at the beginning of this month. And there was a limited quantity of these uh, to, to mark the festival and, and you know, offer for new customers to a new store, online store. So I did get lucky. I hit it lucky and I probably won't see this again. I was really excited when I ordered it thinking, hey, maybe I found a source of spot price silver. I don't know. But um, it looks like it's a one-time deal. Although uh, I'll get into also in another video, um, the difference of buying in China, shopping in China and what's available. And there are some good deals and there's some really overpriced stuff too. Um, I'm not really going to get too much into the collector stuff, although there's a lot of really cool collector stuff over here. Um, I'm not a collector. I'm, well, I have a little bit of collector in me. Um, I call it my magpie syndrome. Uh, I see something shiny, I kind of have to go after it. But essentially, I'm a stacker. So this is stacking metal to me. However, pandas do, some people consider them semi-numismatic, um, these ones being packaged in the flex seal and uh, an airtight capsule as well. Um, I don't think they're not proofs. Um, these certificates you see here are certificates the Chinese government does uh, issue with official coins. So um, getting into it here quickly, uh, we'll just give you a quick view of all the coins as we go through. So starting with the 2012. Nice coin, I hadn't seen it before. I haven't really been uh, into stacking or collecting very long. And only took an interest in pandas near the end of the year, or beginning of the year when I bought a four coin set. Um, and we'll get into the prices and like I said, buying in China and whatnot. In 2014. Two thousand fifteen. So these certificates, uh, these are official Chinese government certificates. I think that they are required or issued by the People's Bank of China. This won't mean much um, when I get back uh, to the West, but they do help uh, for the uh, export process. So you do have to claim certain amounts of silver or gold going out of the country, and this certificate is part of it. Um, so I believe, anyways, I'm still working on finding out more about that. And of course, uh, when I do for learn more about it, I'll make a video about it, if anybody's interested. Um, anyways, I noticed in the 2012 to 15, they have an English and a Chinese side, but when they get uh, past 2016 and past, uh, it's basically just straight Chinese. So uh, I don't know what the change was, but that's the way they are. Um, I'm pretty happy with the set. Uh, like you said, I've, I've got a great deal on this and it's a one-time deal. I was hoping maybe I'd found a new source and I'd be buying tons of these things and figuring out how to get them home. But um, nonetheless, well, eight more ounces of silver and uh, some nice pandas. I'm pretty happy with it. And there's really not much, uh, not much to complain about. I have bought some other items recently and I'll 
make an update uh, shortly with just my modest stack in China. And as you know from earlier video, I have a well, little bit over 1,200 ounces of silver and maybe eight, eight plus ounces of gold at, at home in Canada. Um, over here, I did decide to start, well, because I'm in China, why not buy some pandas and see if I can get better deals? I mean, it's the source, right? Go to the source. So I'm trying it out. But I also believe that, you know, in the event of a crash and I'm sitting in China, having some precious metal on hand may not be a bad idea. So I'm going to keep a modest stack with me here in China and I'm going to take the overflow back home. So this is what you see and uh, thanks for joining me. I'll make this short and signing out. Yeah, and while I'm at it, any questions, comments uh, are always appreciated. Uh, if you like it, uh, hit the like button. If you dislike it, I mean, you can hit the dislike button too, but uh, I'd appreciate your feedback as well. Have a good day and see you next time on the channel. As a preview to some upcoming videos will be my experiences shopping here in China, uh, at the bank, online, and also in local coin shops. Some of the stuff I've bought recently and some of the experience I've, I've had I also want to cover, you know, buying in China and exporting. There are some particular rules, so stay tuned for some upcoming videos. Thanks.